Hi everyone, Kristen Roberts with United Way of East Central Iowa. August is going to be a time of reflection for us, reflecting back on the derecho that tore through the state of Iowa in August of 2020. I'll never forget how during that short time frame we had cell phone service after the storm. I called my husband, I had been working from home, and I said, you don't understand how bad it is here. And him from his office said, you don't understand how bad it is everywhere. And that was the moment that the vastness of the storm's damage really hit home. And then it was even multiplied as we started to hear that United Way of East Central employees had homes that were no longer in living condition. It was also during that short time frame that I called the mayor of Cedar Rapids and said, whatever you need United Way for, we are here for you. And that's when the work really began. United Way of East Central Iowa's uniqueness really came through this past year. And that uniqueness is, is that we have a foot in two different worlds. We have a foot in what we call the programming world through our community impact team's work. And we also have a foot in the funders world through our investments in local nonprofits. We, along with several other agencies, were able to come together and help create the PATCH program, providing assistance to community homeowners. That's in that programming world. And that is a program that helps homeowners repair their homes. Because of our uniqueness and being able to also have a foot in the funders world, we were then able to take the idea to our philanthropic funders cohort that we were a founding member of after the storm. And so we were able to not only help create Patch, we were also helping to be able to get it off the ground and get it funded and moving. Patch recently stats have been helping over 200 projects and the revolving home loan has obligated more than $600,000 to homeowners. And we're still coordinating volunteers. At the height after the storm with our work through the Emergency Volunteer Center, we were working at, with 16 national organizations coming in to help our community. Just in the last few weeks, we were still organizing cleanup and having crews working in both Lynn and Benton counties. As we look ahead, strong lessons from the derecho are really directing our work. And one of those is how the derecho shone a spotlight on the inequities within our community. We know it's not only our duty to be able to close the gap, but we also wanna be included in dialogues around the community. And I know I've talked about this before, but this is where our 21 day equity challenge in September is something that it is amazing opportunity for our organization. You can go to iowaequitychallenge.org and sign up. It's an email in your inbox once a day during the work days through the month of September. You'll get an email that you can engage in at the level in which you have time for, and it covers a vast amount of topics from wealth disparity to implicit bias, foster care, mental health, a whole host of options we really encourage you to sign up. As we look back over this past year, we know that without donations and volunteering from you, our community would not be where it's at. We have faced a lot of disasters in our area, unfortunately, over the last few years, and we are continually overwhelmed and humbled and completely grateful for your support and your actions. Thank you for taking time out of your days and your pocketbooks and being able to give back to the community that we all call home. August 10th will definitely be a day we remember because of the derecho, but it will also be a day we remember because it was a catalyst in which everyone in our communities came out and helped someone who they knew and who they didn't know. It was a time of great sorrow, but it was also a time of great reflection and strength for our communities. Thank you so much for being a part of it. We are honored to be a part of your journey. Have a great day and stay well.